you can edit following files in Google Drive documents spreadsheets presentations drawings and forms now let us take a look at how to edit these files in Google Drive you can perform following tasks while editing any Google document formatting adding comments changing language downloading in various formats renaming and moving in folder first let us take a quick look at interface of Google document this is Google document interface let's take a quick look at it this is document title by default new documents are named untitled document simply click on the title to change the document name this is the menu bar click a menu to see available commands and options Google Drive automatically saves your changes as you work the save changes notification lets you know that your document has been saved this is a shortcuts toolbar this toolbar provides convenient shortcuts for formatting the document text this is the ruler the ruler is useful for setting margins indentations and tab spots the collaboration options allow you to share your document with others and make comments as you work Using File tab, you can get access to various options where you can share, rename, copy, move or delete the existing document. You can also create or open a new document. You can change the language of writing by clicking on language. It provides you with various language options like English, Marathi, Hindi etc. to choose from. If you wish to download any document, you can do that by clicking on Download As. You can download the selected document as Microsoft Word, Open Document Format, PDF Format, etc. You can select Page Setup option to change page orientation, margins or paper size. You may find that Sometimes it is easier to copy and paste text that repeats often in your document. Edit button gives you access to web clipboard option. The web clipboard collects copied selections and allows you to choose which selection to paste into the document. This can be helpful when you need to repeat text several times in the document. Now. Let us see how to use web clipboard option. Select the text you wish to copy. Click the web clipboard button. Select copy selection to web clipboard from the drop down menu. Place the cursor where you wish to add the copied text. Click the web clipboard button and drop down menu will appear. Click the copied text selection you wish to add and then select best adds rich text from the paste options. The text will appear. A hyperlink is a link to a web address or URL. If you want to include a web address in your Google document, you can add it as a hyperlink. To insert a hyperlink, select the text you would like to make a hyperlink. Click the insert link button or right click the selected text and click link. The dialog box will appear. Paste a link you wish to add in your Google document. 
Now click on apply. The text you selected will now be a hyperlink. If you wish to change or remove the hyperlink, click the link and select change or remove from the options that appear below the hyperlink. Google Spreadsheet functions similar to Microsoft Excel. You can add data, segregate data, calculate sum, find average, add formula, etc. Google Spreadsheets can be used to perform calculations. Now we will see how to create simple formulas in Google Spreadsheet. For creating formula in Google Spreadsheet, select the cell that will display the calculated value. Type the equal sign. Click on the cell you wish to add first in the formula. Type the operator you wish to use in the formula. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication or division sign. Now click on the cell you wish to add second in the formula. Press the enter key on the keyboard and the value will appear in the cell. Google Spreadsheet provides a variety of common functions that can be useful for quickly finding the sum, average, count, maximum value and minimum value. The sum function adds all the values of the selected cells. The average function finds the average of the values. The count function is useful for quickly counting items on the sheet. The max function displays the highest sale value whereas the min function displays the lowest sale value. For using the function button, first select the range of cells. Now select function button and choose the desired function from drop down menu. Press the enter key on your keyboard and the answer will appear. In the similar manner you can use other functions for finding the average, count, maximum value and minimum value. To create a filter, click any cell that contains data. Click the filter button. A drop down arrow will appear in each column header. Now decide which column you will apply a filter to and click the column's drop down arrow. This is the filtering option box. Now click on clear to remove all the checks. Select the data you wish to display on the spreadsheet. Click on OK. The sheet will be filtered according to your data selection. And a green filter symbol appears in the filter columns. You can also apply multiple filters to further narrow down the data. Click the filter button to clear all the filters. While sorting data, it's essential to first decide if you would like to sort the entire sheet or a selection of cells. Sort sheet organizes 
all the data in your spreadsheet by one column. Related information across each row is kept together once the sort is applied. To sort a sheet, first decide which column you wish to sort and then click on a cell in that column. Now click on data and select sort sheet by column A to Z if you wish to sort data in ascending order or sort sheet by column Z to A if you wish to sort data in descending order. The sheet will be sorted according to your selection. Sort range can be applied to sort data of the single table while working with a sheet that contains several tables. Sorting a range will not affect the data on the rest of the sheet. This can be done by selecting cells of the specific table and applying sort range. You can create and edit a presentation in the Google Drive. It has similar features as Microsoft PowerPoint. It allows adding background, changing layout and animation for the slide transition. Now. Let us take a quick look at these features. This is the Google slide interface. You can click here to rename the presentation. You can use various menus from menu toolbar like file, edit, view, etc. for performing various actions on your presentation. You can use shortcut toolbar for formatting and editing your presentation. Using shortcut toolbar, you can also change background of your presentation. You can select specific layout for slides. You can choose themes for your presentation and you can add animation to your slide transition. You can share your presentation and work collaboratively by clicking here. You can also add comment by clicking on comments. To run the presentation, click on presentations. Click on slide and press enter to add more slides to your presentation.